Renovated in 2001 to seat 72,000 fans, we are here at Razorback Stadium for this great football matchup. And Jose State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. From their own 49-yard line, it's third down. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Knox was the intended receiver on that pass. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Throws complete. He's hammered. Number four with the tackle at the 27 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Completes it across the middle. Tackle at the 41. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. The 47-yard line. With the pass incomplete. Well, the execution here is very good by the offense. The quarterback did a nice job of reading the defense, put the ball in a position to be able to make the catch. The problem is the wide receiver did not focus and concentrate and hold on to the ball. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's scrambling. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Stewart is back deep to return. Gets out to about the 21. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Now he's flushed, and they got it. And they get a nice defensive play. And here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. It's second and 12. Ball on the 19. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled to 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Right 
Play fake. Here comes the defense. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. Second and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Throws this one away. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. 31's the play. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Oh, shit. Lucky. Oh, shit. He's got it with room to run. Out of bounds around the 39 yard line. That'll make it fourth and 10. Ezo, the return man. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Gonna scramble out. He can't get away from the pressure. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. level at the 14-yard line. Turn man. Stewart fields at the 48. He's taken down at the 38. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, but I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. That brings him second and five. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. It's third and five. Ball on the 33. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. That'll bring up fourth and five. Arkansas could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And it's good! They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses. But I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts kicking. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. 
Game of six on the board. That'll make it second and four. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Caught, open field. They shut that drive down pretty emphatically. That's something to build on. That makes it fourth and inches. Stewart, back to return it. Calls for the fair catch. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Arkansas has a three-point lead. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it third and seven. They come out in a five wide set. He's going left. And that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Tackle made at the 29. Razorbacks are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. They bring him down. but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Going long. This one will fall incomplete. Blackwell was the intended target on the play. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Stewart is back awaiting the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Arkansas holds a field goal lead. He steps up. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Middle got his back. 
They'll bring him down at the 47. No gain on the play. That brings us fourth and 11. Ezo is back to receive. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. The Razorbacks have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. He goes out of bounds at the 22-yard line. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. Watch out here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31. First down. Here we go, here we go. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 3-0. Arkansas. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Five wide. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. So we're looking at another third down here. Takes it and he's tackled short. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offensive passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He punts it away and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arkansas is up by three. Play fake, looking to run. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. About eight yards there on the scramble. That's a great tackle at the 39. And they make the stop at the 41 yard line. The quarterback kept it for himself and got the first down. I'll tell you what, you got to be a tough quarterback to run this kind of offense. You take so many more hits and can really get banged around, even on a good day. He gets rid of this one. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. made right around the 48-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Let's go! 
tackled for a loss. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That makes it second and 14. From the 24-yard line, second down. Arkansas is up a field goal. With a quick throw. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Tenth play of the drive. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle at the 22. Gain of two yards. That makes it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That's good for the game 14 yards. First down. Mike 8! Mike 8! I'm coming! I'm coming! Check it out! 98! He's on the run. He's on the run! He gets hit out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at the 42. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33. Gain of nine on the play. Hey, watch the First down. Mike eight. Mike eight. He's leaving. Shit. And he's tackled right away. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up. And it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Steps out of bounds around the 34-yard line. That's 
Arkansas has a three-point lead. Brought down at the 46-yard line. his man and they take him down immediately. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's at the 30. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. Got hit and still completed it. And he is drilled at the 19. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight, ball on the 19-yard line. Gets to about the 17-yard line. He's under pressure. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Arkansas holds a field goal lead. Kicks away. And the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone. Down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 23. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Stewart is back deep to return the punt. Stewart fields it at the 26. What a collision! In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Scrambling around. And they get the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Arkansas with a six-point lead. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Into double coverage, and that's going to be picked off. He steps out at the 37-yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. Check, tight right. 
from the 37 yard line. It's first down. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And that sets them up with a first and goal. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Runs outside for a nice game. He tackles him for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's taken down right around the six-yard line. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. San Jose State, ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. The Razorbacks with a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. 
They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He fights forward to about the 19. his wide receiver to the 20 the 10 touchdown Spartans this guy just continues to impress me every time I watch this team play he seems to come up with big plays Boy, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. He makes the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 81-yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. San Jose State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Taken down at the 36. He's at midfield. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. Brought down. That's a team of four. Two in, two in. That makes it second and six. Ready! Easy, easy. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. And they make the stop at the eight yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From the eight yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the seven. That's a gain of one. That makes his third and goal. Quick strike to the back, no good. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. San Jose State with a one-point lead. Caught, and he's hit immediately.
He makes a catch and has a first down. Tackle at the 48. First down. Caught enough for the first down. Tackle made around the 30 yard line. Gain of 18 yards. Oh, here we go. First down. Mike eight. Mike eight. And down he goes at the 32. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Second down and 12. Ball on the 32-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. That's a game of 17. That makes it first and 10. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly. The five, Number huge play, nine, and it's going to be seven, first and goal. Number nine on the tackle. Got the one yard Mike, eight, Mike, They'll line up with five wide receivers. Touchdown, San Jose State. He tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Up the middle for a nice game. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. After a decent run up the gut. That's a game of six on the field. That'll make it second and four. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. From midfield, it's third down. Here they come. Dives for extra yardage. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Brought down at the 42-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Give to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 30. for the corner and he carries the ball for a nice game that makes it 
for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the way. That will bring up second and 11. Has some daylight. And he has it on the corner. Excellent open field tackle. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Run up the middle. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Here we go. They'll try to tie it up right here with a two point conversion. Here's the throw to the fullback. And they won't get the two. It was a 14-play, 72-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Wow, close game here, and up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays, and you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. That brings him second and five. San Jose State with a two-point advantage. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Run there. That's a game of seven on the way. First Mike eight. Mike eight. Navajo. Short throw over the middle and it's picked off. Brought down at the 46. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From the 46-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. They go to the left for a nice game. Nice run there as they work the outside. They'll get him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. That makes, that makes it second and 14. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. Mike 28. Mike 28. Let's go. Ready. 
He's tackled at the 41-yard line. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. That's three down and one to go. The Spartans in front by two. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Once and all, going deep. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Arkansas is up by four. Unable to convert that two-point conversion on the ground. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Well, this is where stars are born. We're early in the fourth quarter. They're behind, but they've got an opportunity to take the lead. Quick strike to the receiver. Gaining eight yards. Here we go, let's bring it. That makes it second and two. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Mike eight. Mike eight. Jets. Three nineteen. Three nineteen. Gets out to about the thirty-one. Runs right for a nice game. Game of six yards. First down. He's on the run. Makes it to the 47. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second in inches. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. At the 34-yard line. That brings that us second. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 26. Number seven makes the catch call at the 26 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Zips it to the back. And he is drilled at the 25. That brings us second and nine. Regular, regular, regular. 
Finally, and that was almost big. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 16-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Arkansas holds a four-point lead. Waits. Zips it to the tight end. him hard at the 32-yard line. Steps up in the pocket. Fires incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Again with the run, and he's tackled quite around the 32-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Quick toss, and he can't hang on to it. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. Takes it to 28, and he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop around the 45-yard line. That brings up second and one. Very good tackle in space. First Roger. Mike eight. Mike eight. Here we go. Here we go. Sim. Watch the sim. He goes out of bounds at the 48 yard line. That's a good one. Mike eight. Mike eight. That brings up second and nine. Bounds at about the 45. Tackle made around the 32 yard line. Cool with the tackle at the 32 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's got it with room to run. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 27. They're about four yards away here on second down. That'll make it second and four. Come on, let's go. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. As an offensive line, you've got to do a better job as a group at communicating. Defense brought pressure. That time, they did not do a good job of picking up the linebackers. The linebacker was able to come up with a sack. It 
looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kicks up. Oh, that was a big one. That would have put them within a field goal. But now, they're going to need a touchdown. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackle at the 41. throws right it's the sophomore that's got it knocked out of bounds around the 41 yard line from the 41 yard line it's first down tackle after a decent run up the gut san jose state's gonna have to use their second time out of the half He's in trouble. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little animosity brewing right now between these two sidelines. This team has a huge lead, and they're still firing the football in the air trying to get more points. And down he goes to the 19-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Boy, again, he's knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. It's second and six. Ball on the 15. Just under two to go in the game. That's a great tackle at the 13-yard line. to throw outside well that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight that might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game this isn't much more than an extra point he gets it up and it is good everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. There's a strike complete. He's down. Spikes the ball. They're about four yards away here on third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He makes the catch and has a first down. Brought down at the 43. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Looks to him again, complete. 
He's tackled at the 43-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's out of bounds at the 34. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And here's a quick throw. Caught sideline, and he stays in. That makes it first and goal. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Level at the 15. The spike will stop the clock. This is the ninth play of this drive. Throws it. Can they do it? Almost intercepted. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And it all comes down to this play right here. We had a fight to the finish here today. 27-20, Razorback. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.